All right, so here's where we are so far. So this, um, so I've done this mod on mine. I had the first version. So the first version with this transmitter. If I can get that in the camera. All right. So the first version with this transmitter. My drone has this switch uh, plug. But this one didn't. This one was slightly different, so I had to. Uh, this is the. Uh, this was a, a pigtail that was on here, which you seen me change uh, before. So, but it was confusing. So I just want to make sure I verbalize this one more time. These three wires going to the transmitter that was mounted here originally. All right, the original transmitter which was here, underneath that, however it was, yeah, just like that, like this, alright, so that original transmitter had a pigtail going to it, it was like a, an extension wire, and uh, let's see, I had to leave this morning, so I don't know where the part that I cut off is, but I'll find it in a minute, but um, anyhow, so I had to, cut the pigtail loose and I had to wire it to the wires that came with the new transmitter right so not a big deal at all it's just plain wires but the three wires coming out of the drone are this red yellow and black yellow to me is always video but not on this drone red is um, voltage power positive excuse me uh, yellow is the ground for the power and the black wire is actually the video took me a while to figure that out so I was freaking over it alright so we got this um, we got this done and, and cosmetics will have to be all this stuff will have to be tucked back inside and uh, I need to get some shrink tubing uh, to put on that wire but that's later alright so what I'm going to show you next is get this over here what we got to do to this all right so let me show you it's a really easy mod I promise you guys it is um, so if you look at your your aluminum cap your button for your transmitter you put all that back in so there's a notch that's pre-cut out oh sorry let me get in there so there's a notch that is pre-cut out in your um, cover. All right, what's going to end up happening with this if you use the one that I have? Now, if the, if you don't use the same one, the parts that I tell you to get, then you'll have to trim differently. But this is just the easiest one. So the new transmitter has a digital readout right here. All right, and then here's the plug on the back, and here's the button to change the channel with the antenna sticking out the back. All right, so when I lay this in and try to find where I'm going to place it in accordance to where this antenna is going to come out, right? That hole that's already there for the button is right above the button if you turn it around. So we'll be rotating it to go backwards, so the button's going to be this way. All right, <clears throat> so here's what I've done. Um, I'm going to trim with a Dremel. I'm going to trim this out slightly here. And on the other end, I'm going to cut a new notch for the cable to come out of so it'll very smoothly come out. So I'm going to do that next. <laughs> 